Okay, here we got my 1936 Studebaker Dictator. As you can see, it's a remarkably solid car. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out was a fail on somebody's part. Um, whenever you're doing weather stripping and stuff, you can see all these are taken out right now. Uh, the trunk lid, you can see I'm doing some work back here on it. The trunk lid itself, right down here along the bottom. It's really the only rust on the entire car. You got that. And there was a little bit down here, around the, uh, around the seal and stuff. Okay, so what could they have done to prevent all that? Well, follow the seal around and bam, right here where they started and stopped the weather stripping. They started and stopped it at the top. Now what's wrong with that is there's a big old gap right here. Okay, right up here where my finger is, is the roof of the car. Back here. So all this water just runs down here and runs right past this weather seal. Collects all inside this channel. This weather seal is actually doing no good whatsoever being in here with, it, with that gap right there. They should have started that down here so that it's a continuous seal all, <clears throat> all the way around there, excuse me, until it gets to the bottom. And then when it gets to the bottom down here, it doesn't matter if there's a little gap. It can drain out. That's what you want. So when you're doing your weather stripping, you know, kind of use common sense, just like if you've ever done any, uh, any siding on a house or anything when you're doing your J-channel J molding, you know, you always route it so the water can run down and out. Always do that with your weather stripping also. Thanks.